A report published last year says Canada is about to face a major shortage of technology workers, but now there are summer camps popping up that aim to fix that problem. Level Up Kids is an interactive camp where kids can design and keep their own video games, YouTube channels, and even robots. And the best part is they're supposed to leave with the skills they need to thrive in the increasingly digital world. Joining me to explain more about this is Level Up Kids Camp Director Jeff Hughes. Thank you so much for being hey, here, my Jeff. My pleasure. Okay, tell, talk to me a little bit about sort of the notion behind Level Up Kids. Well, the notion is that we want to prepare kids for jobs in the future that don't exist yet. So they're going to be using technology that hasn't been invented yet, but how do we give them the skills they need now to be ready for the future? But how do you convince kids to drop the canoes and the fire, the, you know, yeah. the, the outdoor adventure, to be indoors working on computers? Yeah, well, on that side, we're really helping parents channel their kids' obsession. Okay. They already want to play Minecraft. They want to watch YouTube videos. So how do we take that and uh, take it and make it a learning activity for them? It, listen, it all sounds ex exciting, and, and, and I have every intention of putting my kids in one of these classes at yeah. some point. But, you know, I, I was reading that there, I think it was Microsoft and a university together have come up with a computer that can self-code. Right. And I'm just wondering whether we are going to arm kids with a skill set that at some point will be obsolete. Yeah, what we really are trying to do is teach the kids how to learn. So how to solve problems, how to work collaboratively, so they can learn... Uh, and be prepared for things that we don't know yet. So yes, Microsoft could make that, mm -hmm. but there are still going to be jobs that haven't been invented yet. So 20 years ago when we graduated, um, jobs like YouTube creator didn't exist, social media manager. Right. Uh, so true. we don't know what jobs are going to exist in the future. All right, well, let's take a look at some of the things that some of your campers yeah. have built for us. And, and then after this, I got so many questions. Sure. So right here is a Makey Makey. It is a circuit board that makes anything into a computer keyboard or mouse. Okay. So you can, uh, there's an electric circuit running through here. If you hold the ground wire. I just hold, hold the yep, pin, hold it. the pin, is that gonna shock me or anything? No, not at all. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to, you can press the bananas and complete the circuit. Okay. What's here? Nice, good finale. That's awesome, thank you. All right, so, and so, so how old was the person who put this together? Um, this can be done, my daughters do this, they're like nine and 10 years old. Nine and 10, yeah. and I, look, I, I, I'm terrible at math, but I see that there's a little bit of artistry here as well. Do kids, do you notice that it's kids of all different types of interests that come do these camps? Definitely, some kids they come because they're creative and they want to tell stories, so there's that aspect of it. A lot of our coding early on is color coded, okay. and it's block based, so they're dragging blocks, they don't get into the math and variables right away. That's good to know. Yeah. Because if my kids got anything from me, it's probably an appreciation of math and an inability to do, to do yes, it. Yes, mine would get that also. <laughs> All right, you brought some robots here as well. And so why don't we, why don't we play with them? Sure, you can put that one down okay. on the ground. Um, so it's, they're not just, we, we, you're calling it coding camp, but you were telling me during the break that the kids actually do the hardware too. Yeah, in this camp, the kids will build the robot, program it, and then they keep it afterwards. So these ones so are what I'm programmed. what I'm playing with here. This 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 mouse pad. If you oh look, yeah, geez, it works. There you go. Oh so they God. can race. You can play oh my soccer. God, come on, this really works. How old's the kid who did this? Uh, they'd be ten to start in this camp. And I gotta ask, wh what's the gender breakdown that you're seeing in terms of kids, boys and girls? Currently, we we get about ten percent of girls coming to our camps. Yeah. So we offer girls only camps in each city, and then there's thirty girls in the camp together. They can build friendships and uh, get confident that way. Oh, that's great to know. That's great to know, because I got a daughter who'd love to do this too. She does not like being left behind from her brothers. <laughs> what about this one right here, this big one here? This is just another version of those. Uh, so it is not programmed this morning, but it gets built more from scratch. Yeah. So everything gets screwed and built together, and then it operates the same way. And what happens if you identify a kid in your, uh, in, in your midst who is a wonderkind? Someone who you just, you just know ha has the, the royal jelly to go very far in it. Yeah, that depends how old they are. We have a girl who is five who is just phenomenal at this. So we want to encourage her to keep coming back and learn more on her own. Some of the older kids we invite back as leaders to um, kind of as interns to help teach other kids. And I, I heard that in certain countries they teach this stuff in primary school. So yeah. you're, you, know, you bringing this up as a summer camp is sort of... A, a, uh, a recognition that there's a hole in our curriculum, and if we can't do it at school, we should do it during the summer. Definitely, and we offer year-round programs too, uh, but we don't want our kids to be left behind compared to all the other countries in the world that currently teach this. I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you. Uh, here we go. 
There we go. All right. Listen, thank you so hey, much, my Jeff. My pleasure. Appreciate it. This is Level Up Kids Camp Director Jeff Hughes. Thank you so much for being here. Best of luck. And um, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate what you're doing. And uh, we're back right after this.